Hey, and welcome to the channel. Today we'll be talking about uh, injector programming on the SIC slash ETEC motors. We'll be using EBDAG software and a QR code, code, QR code scanner for your phone. Um, each injector is unique. They are unlike any injector you will see pretty much anywhere else outside of the Evinrude slash BRP family. Um, they have a unique set of coefficients which is what the computer uses to determine the fueling to each cylinder and so if the coefficients aren't correct for the injectors the injectors will not deliver the appropriate fueling to the cylinder which may just simply cause an engine that doesn't run right or in extreme cases an engine that may fail due to a lean condition um, so here we go Let's turn the key on. The key's on. Our diagnostic connector is plugged in. We will connect FDOG to the motor. Once the connection is established, we will go into, uh, we will cancel the report first because uh, I don't need that this time. We'll go into tools, options, third box down, check the box settings, fuel injector data hand scanner is available. Click apply, okay. This feature here will allow us to use the data that we got from our QR code scanner and enter it into the program. So next thing we will do is we will scan the injector with our QR code scanner on our smartphone. And there we will take the data, the individual numbers that the QR code scan will give us and we will enter them into either a notepad or some sort of word processor. You just need some way to be able to copy and paste them into the computer. Uh, it's, it's worth noting that each number is preceded, is fo uh, followed by a comma, no spaces. Um, in some cases, the third sequence of numbers needs to have a zero in front of it if there's only three digits there. In this case, I have four digits, so I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, it's also worth noting to be sure that the numbers are input correctly. If they are not input correctly, either the injector calibration will not take or you will have an injector that doesn't work properly. And uh, well, we know what might happen there. So from here, we will copy that data into the clipboard in the computer. From there, we will go back in the Diagnostics tab, Settings, third tab over fuel injectors. In this case, I'm gonna do fuel injector number one because it's easy, it's right here, and I've already done this. So we will click replace fuel injector. This will prompt um, you to approve the use of a hand scanner, in which case here we'll, include, we'll click yes because that's the only way we can do that using this method. So here we will either control V or right click paste program will verify the data. Once it's done verifying the data, it will shift it down into the scan to field. Once that's done, we will just simply control V, right click paste the data back into there, allow it to process. Once that's done, it will allow you to click the button and call install scan data. Click that. And we're done. It's really that simple. If you like this content, please comment down below if you'd like to see more or what else you would like to see. And uh, also, please like and subscribe. This helps me a lot. Thanks.